హలో ఫ్రెండ్స్ ఐ ధైర్య భాట్య వెల్కమ్ యూ టు మై యూట్యూబ్ ఛానల్ మ్యాథ్స్ డిఎన్ఏ ఫ్రమ్ ఒరిజిన్ టు ఇన్ఫినిటీ ఇన్ దిస్ వీడియో వీ ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు డిస్కస్ అ క్వశ్చన్ ఆఫ్ లీనియర్ ఎల్జబ్రా బట్ బిఫోర్ దాట్ లెట్ మీ షేర్ సంథింగ్ విత్ యూ వీ హెవ్ ఇంట్రొడ్యూస్డ్ అ హండ్రెడ్ డేస్ట్ హండ్రెడ్ టెస్ట్ ప్రోగ్రామ్ ఇన్ విచ్ యూ విల్ బి గెటింగ్ హండ్రెడ్ డిఫరెంట్ టెస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ఆల్ ద టాపిక్స్ దట్ విల్ బి హెల్ప్ఫుల్ టు యూ టు క్వాలిఫై సిఎస్ఆర్ నెట్ జేఆర్ఎఫ్ మ్యాథమెటిక్స్ in just one attempt for this you can register at our whatsapp number given above moving on to the question as i said earlier the question is from the linear algebra let v be a vector space of all 3 cross 3 matrices with complex entries here underline the word complex entries over the real field very important the entries are complex but the field is real also if w1 is equals to a belongs to v such that a is equals to a conjugate transpose and w2 is equals to a belongs to b trace of a is equals to 0 then the dimension of w1 plus w2 is the options are given to us as a 16 b 17 c 18 and d 19 first of all you need to follow three simple steps to solve this question first find a then w1 and then w2 let us solve this question as per the given data we have the dimension of a where a is equals to a11 plus ib11 a12 plus ib12 up to a33 plus ib33 where aij and bij belongs to r that is the set of real numbers and a11 plus ib11 that all are complex entries so clearly as a belongs to v the dimension of v is 18 all the 18 elements are independent over here then w1 it says that a belongs to v such that a is equals to a conjugate transpose now a conjugate transpose will be a11 minus ib11 a12 minus ib12 see the rows and the columns are changing it is given transpose also students make a mistake over here they do not take the transpose and hence they make they end up with the wrong answers so be very precise whenever you are solving a question what information is given to you so a conjugate transpose will be a11 minus ib11 a12 minus ib12 a13 minus ib13 up to a33 minus ib33 then as we have to take both of them to be equal let us take them equal that gives us a11 plus ib11 is equals to a11 minus ib11 the diagonal entries will be almost same a22 plus ib22 a22 minus ib22 a33 plus ib33 and a33 minus ib33 from here we can conclude that b11 will be 0 similarly b22 and b33 all of them will be zeros so three entries are eliminated now a12 plus ib12 is equals to a21 minus ib21 this implies that a12 and a21 should be equal and b12 should be equals to minus of b21 see we are finding the total number of entries that are independent and that are dependent because independent will give us the dimensions of the matrix so in general aij will be equals to aji and bij will be equals to minus bji thus the required a will be on diagonal we only have a the real part that is a11 a22 and a33 and above the diagonal a12 plus ib12 that will be similar to a12 minus ib12 the sign of the complex part changes thus there are total 9 independent entries in w1 now coming to w2 w2 is equals to a belongs to v such that trace of a is equals to 0 just one simple condition trace of a should be equals to 0 take the matrix a and as trace of a equals to 0 so a11 plus ib11 
a22 plus ib22 a33 plus ib33 the sum of this element should be equals to 0 so the real part independently has to be 0 and the complex part independently has to be 0 so from the addition of the real part a11 plus a22 plus a33 any one element is dependent because you can take any value of a11 any value of a22 no matter what if I take A33 as the negative of both of them, it will be 0. Similarly, in B11 plus B22 plus B33, only one element will be dependent. Many students make mistakes over here also. They take all the three to be dependent. No, you can take two independent values, only one value that will be dependent. If it is still A N N also, if there are N entries also, then also you can take N minus 1 entries to be independent only one entry will be dependent because simply think about it if you take 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 it is 10 but if i take the fifth value as minus 10 it will be 0 the sum will be 0 so only one entry will be dependent in real part and one entry will be dependent in the complex part or imaginary part so the dimension of w2 total a was 18 and two entries are getting to be dependent so it will be 16 now we also need to find the dimension of w1 intersection w2 and that will be 9 minus 1 8 now how that is 9 minus 1 8 let us see suppose a11 is taken as minus a22 and minus a33 from here our intersection of w1 w2 will be minus a22 minus a33 other two entries are same a22 and a33 so the one entry that was independent in w1 that was a11 is now dependent in their intersection as minus a22 minus a33 pause the video over here note it down carefully and understand these steps properly now just we have to apply the formula of dimension of w1 plus w2 will be equals to dimension of w1 plus dimension of w2 minus dimension of w1 intersection w2 and that gives us 9 plus 16 minus 8 and that is equals to 17 option b thank you and you can be a member of our social club and join our whatsapp groups as well as telegram channel links are given below in the description thank you